Hi everyone, how we doing? Welcome back to my channel. Um, today I'm so excited to film this video for you because I've been wanting to try out these Stila metallic glitters for so long and I finally did and the verdict is that I love them. They are so glittery, so pretty. Um, also, I have been wanting to do a video just based on the blood sugar palette and the color schemes there, so I did this kind of like rocker metallic purple eye look and I'm living for it. So if you want to see how this look was created, then please just follow along and don't forget to like and subscribe to my channel. Don't forget to also follow me on Instagram. The link to my Instagram page is going to be down below in the comment box. And if you also have any comments about the video or about any of the products that you've tried or liked, then definitely comment those as well. Yeah, so thank you so much and keep on watching. So today I'm going to be filming a video on um, this beautiful purple smoky and glittery eye. I think it's really like rocker and just really cute. You could do it for Valentine's Day. So I just want to start out um, prepping the skin, making it super moisturized with my Glam Glow Glow Starter Mega Illuminizing Moisturizer. And it's in the shade Nude Glow. I'm just going to use a tiny bit. I'm just going to give you that nice glow. Well, I've been testing out the Tatcha Primer and I really like it. Um, so I'm definitely going to go out and buy it. But I'm just going to use a bit of that on my face. You really don't need much. Um, just a tiny bit where you're more porous. And I like to use a bit on the forehead as well. It just makes your skin feel so smooth. So for foundation, I'm just going to be going with one of my faves, which is my L'Oreal Infallible Glow Pro. Pro Glow Foundation and in the shade Nude Beige. I'm just tapping it into my brush and then just going, dotting it around the face just to spread the product around and then blending. So now that your foundation is like all nice and blended, I'm going to be going with my NARS concealer in the shade Vanilla. I just got this, but I did try it before and I really like it. It's a creamy consistency. Um, I still like the Tarte Shape Tape Concealer better, but we can't get it in Canada. So we're just going to have to settle with this one, which is not such a bad thing. And I'm just putting it in all the places of my face that I want to highlight. I also like to use concealer as an eye primer. I'm going to be using this e.l.f. blending sponge. It's really nice and porous, so you don't even have to wet it. If you're in a rush, that's really nice. Long milk white. Devil's mark. Now it's all hollow here. The moon is full. But will she trick or treat? I bet she will. So going with my Kat Von D translucent powder, I'm just gonna put it under the eyes, just basically anywhere that has concealer. Alright, so we're just going to let that bake while I do my eyes. I am sorry about these brows. They are just getting so bushy, but like, I can't find my tweezer right now and I gotta get a new one. So, I'm just going to brush them up for now. So the blood sugar palette is really nice, as you can see. 
I am going to go in with the shade um, Zero Positive, which is just right here. It looks great in the pan, but then when you put it on your eye, it looks more like a lavender shade. Um, so I'm just going to use that as a transition. Just using windshield wiping motions and making sure that's really blended out. It was like love of the dead. Love layer it as much as you want it does go on quite lavender as you can see that was like a little surprising for me at first but I really do love the color I'm just kind of blowing it out a lot because I want this eye to be very smoky okay so I'm gonna use my Anastasia Beverly Hills brush that came in the sultry palette I'm just using the end it's a little bit fluffy but kind of denser than the other fluffy brush I just used and I'm going to go in with this shade, Root Canal, which is just right here. It's a beautiful, vibrant purple. So pretty. I'm just going to dab in and tap off the brush. And then I'm just going to dab the color on, kind of around the crease and on the side of the lid. Just going with a little more. Alright, so once you have your desired shade, um, you're just going to go back in with your transition color, which is the zero positive, tap it off quite a bit, and then blend on the very outer corners just to blend everything out. And these colors blend really nice together. She's in love with herself. She likes the dark. Alright, so once that's all blended out really nicely, you're going to want to deepen it up just a little bit. So I'm going to be going in with a shade from the Jaclyn Hill palette, and it's called Royalty. It's a little bit sparkly, as you can see, but it does have a very deep, rich tone, so that's what I like. By no means you have to use all of these palettes. Um, I could have used a darker purple shade from the Blood Sugar palette, but I do find that it has more of like plum undertones, and I just want to stick to that really intense purple look. Um, but you can buy singles of this shade from like ColourPop and they're really cheap so you don't have to buy all of these palettes. So I'm just going to saturate this brush uh, with that color and I'm just going to pack it onto the outer crease or the outer corner of the eyelid. This shade is extremely fallouty. It's already gone everywhere um, so that's definitely a downfall so brush off your fallout <laughs> because yeah there's a lot like I don't know if you can see that yeah you can see that <laughs> now I'm just gonna go back in with my intense purple from the Jeffree Star blood sugar palette just to add back some of that color even though we have a lot of it So I'm just gonna kind of dab it around the crease and just dabbing that color back in and just going back in on the outer edges and just blending that once more. I'm just gonna take my concealer sponge and just kind of clean up around the eyebrow because we did go up pretty far and then kind of around the edges just to clean it up a little. I'm just going to set down a base for our glitter because I'm going to be using intense glitter today. I'm using my, um, I can never say this, Sueva Beauty Protégé palette in the shade Poetic which is just right here. And I'm just gonna be mapping out a base for our um, glitter. Like 
So I'm gonna be using my Stila glitter. I am super excited. I have wanted to buy this for so long. I just don't know why I didn't actually. I should have. Um, but yeah, so this is the Stila glitter in the shade Smoldering Satin, and it's just so gorgeous. I'll just show you how glittery that actually is. Wow. And I'm just gonna kind of map it in where I mapped out that lighter color. And I'm just gonna tap with my finger while it's still wet. I'm gonna tap the outside corner. Just to make it more blended. You can just see how it totally adds to the look. Like it is so freaking glittery. And just tapping again on the outer edge. I am gonna go under the eye just a little bit with a kind of a different shade, similar but kind of different. It's in the Blood Sugar palette again, and it's the shade Coma. It's got this cute little indent in there. I'm gonna do a little bit of the root canal. Just a tiny, tiny bit. I'm just gonna um, kind of blend that out. The devil's mark. Now it's all hollow. And then with my transition shade, I'm just gonna kind of blend it out a tiny bit on the very bottom. I'm just going to brush away all the powder. And I'm going to do my brows now. My intensely bushy brows. <laughs> just going to use my Morphe brush, brow brush. Brushing them up. And then with my Anastasia dip brow in the shade Taupe to deepen the brows and define the shape. Well my bushy brow pen. It's just gonna um, draw little hairs throughout the brow and then ones in the front just to define. So now I'm just gonna go with my bronzer. Uh, which is my Too Faced Chocolate Soleil in the shade Medium Deep. This is almost gone, so I need to get a different kind of bronzer. I want to try a different kind. I kind of want to try like a cool tone bronzer, so if you know any cool tone bronzers or contour shades that are really good, just comment below. Love Love now I'm just going to do mascara. Quickly, I'm going to curl my eyelashes. Was like was and I just got the Melt Kush Mascara. It is so good. Like, it makes your eyelashes just so defined. And they stay curled all day. All right, so I'm just gonna use my NARS um, Deep Throat Blush. It's kind of like a peachy pink. And just lightly applying that to the cheeks. So for highlighter today, I'm gonna be using Wet n Wild, my favorite. Um, it is the Blossom Glow, which is definitely like a peachy pink. It makes the skin look wet.
a little bit there. I'm now using my NYX lip liner in the shade Sandstorm. I'm just gonna go in with the shade Androgyny, which is the Jeffree Star liquid lip. It's really pretty, like plum shade, mauvey, mauve. Now, I did buy setting spray, so we have the All Nighter Urban Decay, and I'm just going to spray the face. Alright everyone, so this is the final look. I hope you really enjoyed the video, and I hope that you will try this out and get your hands on a Jeffree Star Blood Sugar Palette because the colors are amazing, the pigment is amazing. Basically everything he does is amazing. And the Stila glitters, I gotta say, I love them so much. Like I will definitely be using these in a lot more videos. So if you haven't already, make sure to like and subscribe to my channel for more videos just like this one. And I'll be trying like new looks every week. So yeah, thanks again and we'll see you in the next video. Bye.